I'm Father Bob Stokig, Rector of the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming to you with another of our reflections on the Sunday readings. This for the second Sunday of Lent, the last day of February 2021. How has Lent been for you so far? If you set goals for this Lent, how have you been in keeping them? Or if you never got around to setting them, Second Sunday of Lent's a perfect day to begin and to journey through the remainder of these 40 days. This week, we have what the headlines in your Bible might call the sacrifice of Isaac, but those headlines are always, of course, the choice of editors, not of the original writers of the scriptures. Instead, I think it's better thought about as Abraham, Abraham's dream and God's covenant. For when we meet Abram, who will be called Abraham, Abraham meaning the father of many, he's already an old man past childbearing. His dream of people to come after him has all but died and God surprises him. God surprises him by announcing to him that his heirs will be countless like the sands on the seashore or the stars in the sky. So with Abraham's renewed dream of people living on after his earthly life, we meet him and God in this story. Isaac is the representation of that dream. And the question put before Abraham is, Will he be willing to sacrifice his personal dream for God's dream for him and for all his posterity? Of course, Isaac is never harmed, but Abraham trusts enough in God to allow his dream to be sacrificed. In the gospel, Second Sunday of Lent, always one of the gospel passages about the transfiguration. In the gospel, perhaps Peter's in a similar position. His dream wasn't long held, but when he experiences what happens on Mount Tabor with the transfiguration, with the appearance of Elijah and Moses, immediately he wants to stay there forever. Lord, let us build three tents here. One for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. That was Peter's impetuous dream. Jesus, knowing his dream is about announcing the reign of God to all, knows that they can't stay on that mountaintop. What dreams have you had for your life? And in this chaos of COVID-19, how do you look at those dreams with new eyes? How are those dreams cooperative with or crowding out God's dream. God's dream, after all, announced in the public ministry of Jesus is the kingdom of God is at hand. And the kingdom of God is all about relationships, us with God, us with each other, and all of us together with God's own creation. Where do our lives intersect with that dream God has for us? I invite you to think about that this second week of Lent and perhaps make your Lenten practice hospitable to God's own dream for you, for us as a community, and for God's own creation. We hope you are keeping well. We keep you and your families in our prayers here at Guardian Angel Cathedral, and we invite you to keep us and our community in yours. As we journey through the days of Lent, mindful of the dream God has for us to all be in right relationship, we long for the day when reconciliation and peace will not be lofty ideals, but daily experiences. <laughs>